This talk uh, came about from Dan's list, uh, and one of the entries was "Don't mess with Texas." It had nothing to do with me, but uh, I decided to put in my topic as "Messing with Texas," and then I came up with this presentation after the fact. <laughs> so, messing with Texas. Uh, Don't Mess With Texas first showed up uh, in a television ad in the 1986 Cotton Bowl. Uh, it was a state-run initiative to curb the littering on its state highways. Uh, some say it was not uncommon to see cowboys driving down the street tossing a beer can out the window. Uh, but this is not the messing with Texas that uh, is most interesting to me. Uh, and neither is this, but did you know that Texas still holds the unenviable record for hosting the nation's deadliest natural disaster? On September 8th, 1900, in Galveston, Texas, a Category 4 hurricane touched down, and by the end, it had taken 8,000 lives. Uh, prior to this, Galveston could brag that it was a playground for millionaires. Uh, currently, Galveston, Texas has a population of about 48,000, but it has not regained its prior glory back in the 1900s. Uh, and while this is another interesting fact, it is also not my favorite. Uh, when Texas joined the U.S. of A in 1845, uh, there was an annexation agreement. And that agreement would make it possible for Texas to split up into five different states whenever it wanted to without federal approval. <laughs> and that is still currently valid. So you'll sometimes hear about this uh, re being referred to as Texas divisionism. But um, while Texas has many interesting and tragic historical events that have occurred during the last two centuries, the real messing with Texas began way back in the 16th century. Native Americans have lived in what is now known as Texas for thousands of years. But Spanish explorers took over the land in 1519. Uh, but they essentially ignored it. And the French assumed ownership in the 1680s when they established an outpost near Matagorda Bay. That galvanized the Spaniards, who said, there might not be anything there, but damned if we let the French take it. <laughs> so Spain took it back. And that was until 1821, when Mexico's War of Independence pushed out Spain. So 15 years later, Texas then began, became its own country, the Republic of Texas agreeing to join the U.S. of A. in 1845, but that also wasn't the last flag for Texas, because Texas, along with 10 other states, seceded in 1861 to form the Confederacy. And at the end of the Civil War, Texas came back to the Union and has been here ever since. So, six flags, Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the Confederacy, and the United States. And that's where we get Six Flags Amusement Park, which started in Texas in 1961, and so it has been named. Thank you.